With the launch of RTX 30 series from Nvidia, a lot of people have been asking themselves whether PCIe 3.0 will be enough to fully support the performance that the new graphics card will offer. There have been there have, there have been a lot of questions whether to replace the old motherboard with a new one that supports PCIe 4.0 or stay with the old one, how the performance will look like, and in this video we'll answer all of those questions. Hi, I'm Laser. welcome to my channel where we talk about gaming and hardware. And without further ado, let's look at PCI 3.0 and whether it will bottleneck your RTX 3080 graphics card. First of all, let's answer the question of what exactly is a PCIe port. And by the way, if you need an answer for that question, you should probably avoid building your own computer. In short, PCIe port is where you plug your graphics card or your uh, NVMe flash disks. PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, which is a standardized way for manufacturers to build expansion cards, additional cards for your PC. It's like a unified way to build something that will work on every computer out there. And graphics cards, flash disks, and VMI disks are using this standardized way to connect to your motherboard, to connect with your PCU, RAM, and everything inside of it. Over the years, there have been many iterations of the PCIe ports and the most common right now I think is the PCIe 3.0. It has been with us for almost 10 years now. Only in 2020 did uh, AMD release a CPU that fully supports PCIe 4.0 and at this stage I think it's worth mentioning that PCIe 4.0 is not yet fully supported by Intel CPUs. So if you're stuck with an Intel CPU you're also stuck with the PCIe 3.0. There are a few different PCIe connectors that vary depending on the number of lanes they can use. So for the graphics card you have 16 lanes or 8 lanes, but 16 is like the standard right now. There are also PCIe ports with 4 lanes, which you usually connect your NVMe storage to, and PCIe ports with just one lane. What's the main difference between PCIe 4.0 and 3.0? Well, with like all the new things, it's mainly about speed. PCIe 4.0 offers up to 64 gigabytes of transfer speed using 16 lanes, so as much as a typical graphic card uses. But the question is, do graphics cards really require that 64 gigabytes of transfer speed? And the short answer is no. 2080 Ti, which was one of the most powerful cards in the previous generation, was only able to saturate PCIe 3.0 with 8 lanes, which is half the speed of what PCIe 3.0 with 16 lanes offers. Well, but what about 3080, which will be much more powerful than the 2080 Ti? Will it require PCIe 4.0 or is PCIe 3.0 enough? Well, if Nvidia's claims are right and 3080 will offer around 70% more performance than the 2080 Ti, you should still be fine with PCIe 3rd generation. So if you have a mainboard with a PCIe 3.0, you're fine, you don't have to replace the motherboard, you don't have to replace your whole system, you should stick with it, unless you have a really old CPU that will not be able to keep up with the new graphics card, then it's probably wise to replace your old system with something new. And then it's also probably a good choice um, to invest in a PCIe 4.0 motherboard, which will make you a bit more future-proof in case anything new comes out. For example, a more powerful RTX 3080 Ti or 3080 Super or whatever it will be called. And it will also allow you to use more powerful NVMe disks that are probably going to hit the shelves pretty soon. At this moment, Intel does not support the 4.0 standard yet. So if you really want to invest in the 4.0 PCIe standard, then you're kind of stuck with AMD. There is also one more thing that can affect your overall system performance. Uh, we don't know much about it yet, but Nvidia is calling it RTX IO. And the technology is similar to what the new consoles will offer, so it will read the textures, uncompressed textures, directly from your SSD storage or flash storage, which should boost your overall system performance. We don't know whether it will really saturate the PCIe 3.0, whether it will require some additional bandwidth. We will have to wait for some tests, we'll have to wait how it goes. So whether you're wondering if you should upgrade your motherboard, maybe it's just wiser to wait for the official benchmarks from all the YouTubers out there that will be testing the system. So let's sum it up very quickly. If you already have a motherboard with a PCIe 3.0, which is running a fairly recent Intel or AMD CPU, which should be able to keep up with the performance of the RTX 3080, you're fine. You don't have to replace your whole system. You don't have to buy a new motherboard with PCIe 4.0. 
it's okay you should see no performance impact on your whole system on the other hand if you're planning on upgrading because your system is very old like five years old six years old like my system it's probably wise to make yourself a bit more future proof and invest in something that will give you more overhead when it comes to future expansion so 4.0 is in my opinion the way to go and right now you can only go for 4.0 with the amd line of cpus Intel will supposedly support it with the 11th gen CPUs, but there's still and there are still no announcements regarding the 11th gen working on working on desktop PCs. We only heard the announcement about the mobile version of the 11th gen CPUs. That's it for today. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll answer all of them. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.